Awesome BMX here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over one tip you could use at camp to make sure your dead eye is always 100% gold. Howdy partners, welcome to today's video. As stated before the introduction, we're going to be spending a little bit of time at camp showing off a pretty cool tip that you should be using when you're out here in free roam. If you go on to enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more Red Dead online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, and just good old fashioned fun. We've made it over to our camp, just over here in the Heartlands, did a little bit of hunting over here at Valentine. Wasn't too bad in Valentine, it's actually calmed down a little bit lately. But what we're gonna be showcasing today is an easy, easy tip you could use here at your camp to make sure your dead eye is always fully gold. Now the first tip in this, and if you missed this in our previous video, we'll have it linked here in this video, but big game meat is super awesome and time big game meat is super easy to cook and it gives you a gold core in your dead eye for an entire day. So that's the first step in this little tip. So we're gonna go ahead and eat one of these real fast. As you can see now we have a gold core there. Now. To be able to get our dead eye bar up to gold, there's a lot of things you can do. There's all kinds of items you can actually find over here in free roam that allow you to do this. Uh, these usually we pick up on dead people. Sometimes we know some loot areas. Uh, also the open miracle tonics, they just fully restore your bars. Snake oil is one of the best things and these we loot all over the place as you can see we have tons of them because you loot them all over and we don't use them very much because there's a better one that we can make for free and that's this one here potent snake oil as you can see the difference in these regular snake oil that we loot off of npcs and in loot boxes all over the map give you a one level fortification so it says it fortifies it slightly now this one gives you a two level which says moderately and you can make these for free at the start of the game now, if you look at your catalog, these are for sale for $5.50 a piece. But we're not going to be buying any of those because they are super easy to make at your camp. And we're going to go over that right now. Now, you don't get potent snake oil off looting from NPCs very often. Usually, it's just regular snake oil. Rockstar did gift these quite a lot in a recent gift package or little bonus that we got in one of the drip feed content weekly bonuses. But... You may have used all of yours already, may not have known what it was there and what it was for, but I do still have some of my lockbox. I'm not going to be using any of those right now because I want to show you how easy it is to make these. The, one of the easiest things to find out on the prairie. Now, of course, what we're going to be doing is using our campfire to do a little bit of crafting. If you guys don't know much about this, definitely jump into a campfire and check out all these. You can actually show all and look at all the stuff that you are able to make, even show some stuff that's locked that you may have to purchase at the fence to make, all the provisions you can make right off the bat. Of course, the video we linked earlier is all about big game meat. That is one of the best things you need to be cooking over here at your camp. If we move over to tonics, we have a few things, of course, that are locked that we don't own those pamphlets. But if we go down to our good old fancy potent snake oil, which we're talking about right now, you can see that it takes one Indian tobacco to make one potent snake oil. That's just a one for one ratio. That's pretty awesome because a lot of the things in here take quite a lot of ingredients to make and the potent snake oil takes one Indian tobacco to make one potent snake oil. Indian tobacco is one of the easiest things to find out on the free roam map along with the other items that we use to make big game meat to season big game like mint, thyme. If we look at all of them, mint, thyme, oregano, Indian tobacco and probably like carrots are like the top five most easily found things out on the prairie. Indian tobacco you can find just run around while you're hunting. Always use eagle eye. Find those herbs. Pick up that Indian tobacco. We usually always have a full satchel of it until we sit down and make some potent snake oil. As you can see one potent snake oil takes one Indian tobacco. It's pretty easy to make. We can craft up a full satchel of these right now. And man, what is going on? There's some major gunfire going on super close. There must be a 
random event over here or something. So there we made one. Super easy. Now you can only make these at a campfire. If you do have the mortar and pestle, you can't make these because they do uh, need to be put in a bottle. Anything you need to craft that's put into a bottle, you have to do at your campsite or at another campfire in town or at a random NPC's camp works as well. Right there we go. I think we've made about five now. I don't think I can make any more. Let's see. Nope, we can't make any more. If we go back down here real quick, you can see that we can't make any more because the very bottom down here it says we're carrying 20 of 20. Uh, we have five more any tobacco on us, so we did make five. Super easy to get in here and make those guys. Definitely make sure you're always stocked up on potent snake oil because it is awesome. Right, as you guys can see now, if we move over to our potent snake oil, we do have 20 that we can hold. That's super awesome. We're going to go ahead and use one right now. This fully restores your core and fortifies it at a level 2. That's pretty awesome. We did a little bit of testing of this too. We actually can probably go over there and test this on this uh, random event that's happening over there. I imagine that's a campsite. Let's head on over there real quick. It sounds like there's a freaking crazy amount of gunfire happening up here. Sometimes these are hard to do by yourself because, man, there's a lot of enemies that roll in, but we'll uh, see if we can handle it. So if we go in the dead eye, we can pretty much last the entire time here. Fighting all these guys right here, for sure. Where's the other guy at? Don't even worry about turning your dead eye off. Come on. More coming in. Oh man, there's a bunch of them. We died. All we gotta do is take another one though. See, they're super easy. They're super easy to use here. Where are these guys at? There's a guy. Die, dude! You die! I'm pretty sure I shot that guy in the face. What do you guys think? You gotta be kidding me. These guys are... Brutal. Where's the last guy at? There, jeez. Look at dead eye the entire time almost. Of course, when was course when we died. We'll go ahead and do a full-on test on it here in a second. Alright, so if we use these tips, how much dead eye can we actually get? Let's go over, throw on our time big game meat, which will give us a gold core for a whole day. Although we're gonna blast through that here in a second. And also let's go ahead and throw on some of this awesome potent snake oil that you can make super easy we showcase here in this video as you can see there now we got that all set up all gold on our dead eye let's uh see how long it will last it's gonna have go let it run as you can see our gold our gold fortification has gone, but now we're just waiting for our bar to get all the way down to the bottom there. Knocking all these deer out, that's for sure. Alright, we're gone down to our core now. It's gold core has gone away and we are stopping and dead eye's gone. That's pretty awesome. That was just under 50 seconds of full continuous dead eye. That's pretty awesome. Alright, well there you go. That's a pretty cool tip. Just want to share with you guys to use your camp. Make sure you guys are using that camp for all of its abilities. Looks like with the summer update we should have some even more awesome capabilities of the camp. So we're definitely looking forward to that. Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, and just good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, but until then, see you later.